today I would like to talk about how to select a project, Capstone project in artificial intelligence. And actually, how can you locate the data sets? So it will be a very short one. In 10 minutes, I will try to explain, first of all, where to find data sets. One of the resources that I will suggest, of course, is my blog. In my blog, there are many, many data sets you can check. And the other is the, of course, from Kegel. The advantage of Kegel is that you can also locate the codes. I will show in a moment. My suggestion for everyone is that please begin, always begin with searching and finding a proper data set and then design your project goal and application. As I said before, beginning with a brilliant idea for your project and then try to collect the data set is not the way you would like to choose because your time is very limited. Therefore, I suggest you first find the proper data set and then design your project accordingly. Therefore, I will show some sample projects here. And then if you like, I hope that you would use uh, this uh, approach in your projects. There are four projects, as you see on the slide. The first one is traffic sign detection. The next one, food detection. The other one is count people. And the other one is predict age from face. So if you approach this problem, first the idea, then the data set, it wouldn't be easy to find the data sets to realize these projects. But what I have done, actually, I did first find these data sets, then I suggest these project titles. So let me show you. So in Kaggle, first I find these three data sets. And then I recognize or I design my project like that. But let me show you first. Here is the Kaggle data sets page. And now you can search your uh, data set. If you have no idea, you can begin just searching, for example, computer vision. So it means that you are gonna dealing with the images. And you see that there are thousands of data sets already available. So what I did actually to prepare these projects, I think that what can I do in a short amount of time? So we have only 10 weeks almost. Then I realized that I can implement a machine learning approach, train my model, and then deploy my model on a mobile device, like a smartphone. So I think, what can I do? For example, I think that I can create an assistant for a driver by just reading the road signs and then warn, warns the driver, for example, the speed limit is 70 kilometers per hour because it can read and understand that. So I just do this by writing traffic sign to check that if there is traffic sign data sets. So you see that there are some traffic sign data sets. Then I just look at into the, these data sets and you see that in that data set, you have the, some structures in the images and you can use these data sets. And plus there are some special or sample codes using this data set. And if you look at, you could end up with different data sets. Here you have the some data sets from different countries. But if you are gonna apply your model in a realistic scenario, like you are gonna use in a Turkish road in Turkey, you have to maybe need to collect your data set. So be careful about that. All right. So my first suggestion for as a project, after locating these, after locating these data sets, for example, some data sets from 
Turkey. Then my project scope can be designed like that. It's a sample for you. So I can begin with gathering several data sets, which are available, I am sure. Then I can train a machine learning model or deep learning model. Then I can test it after I am sure that the model can classify and can um, recognize the traffic sign. Then I can deploy this model as an application on a mobile. Then in a car, I can use that mobile application to detect the traffic sign and warn the driver by voice. So that's my simple approach. I search for some reason. I just think if there is a data set for that, then I search, I validate that there are several data sets, then I come up with a project ID. Okay, let me continue with the next one. So for that one, I just think myself that if there is a data set holding for the food. So what I did actually, basically, I just jumped to Kegel and I searched for food data sets. And then I come up with this data set. You see that? And I realized that I can use this data set. And in the bottom, you see that there are similar data sets like fruit one. And here is the fruit one. And there are many fruits as you see here. Okay. And then I have an idea. Now I collect it. I am sure that there's a data set. Now my idea is like that. After detecting these two data sets, I think that I can design a project, machine learning project, gather several data sets, train a machine learning or deep learning model, test it, deploy the, deploy the model as an application on the mobile now. In a cafeteria, I can use that mobile application to take the food on a tray and then calculate the total price. If I know the price of each dishes, I can come up with the total price. So I can eliminate the calculate manual calculation. So, but please pay attention that I didn't come up with the idea first. I come up with the data sets first, then I design a solution, then I design a application where to use these data sets. Okay, of course, I need to find more data sets which are much more suitable for that reason. So it is your task to look for more data sets with, of course, providing the dishes and the names of the dishes, and you can create a menu right the, with the prices that you can calculate this. So it is your idea. It's up to you to develop your idea accordingly with the uh, whatever you found as a data set. Okay. The next idea is count people. So I check this in the Kegel and I am sure that there are some data sets. Let me continue with that here. I found a data set with several images and each image has the correct number of faces or the people. Then I designed my solution or project like that here. I will gather several data sets. Of course, you are not limited by the cable. Okay, you can look for many data sets as I explained, right? So you can just uh, jump to my blog here. Okay, in that blog, you know that there are many data sets. Okay, you can check any of them. You can find more face count data sets here. All right. And then gather several data sets, train a machine learning and deep learning model, test it, deploy the model as an application on the mobile. Then in a social event, you can use this mobile application to count the participants in that event, okay? 
as a last project, sample project, I try to look for data sets which has the faces and the ages. After finding these two sets in the Kaggle, so you have several images with ages and another one here. Okay. I designed my project like that. Gather several data sets, train a machine learning or deep learning model, test it, then deploy the model as an application on a mobile in a club entrance or in a tobacco liquor shop. You know that you cannot sell some cigarettes or the alcoholic beverages to the younger people. Then you can use this application at the entrance to decide who is younger than 18, for example. So I think so far you can understand that I search some data sets. After finding the data sets, I design my project, the title, the scope, how to use it in a real life, and the steps that I will follow to develop my, for example, mobile application. All right? So at this point, I would like to ask your opinions or questions now. You can ask me questions or propose your ideas. So at this time, I am listening to you. Yes, any questions? <laughs> 